guys, I got a request to go through my pedal board, so I'm going to show you my setup here really quick. This is my live setup. It's, it's pretty basic, I think. So let's just jump right in here. This is my clean sound. So uh, right here at the beginning, we're coming straight from my bass into a Digitet bass synth wah. I use this just as an octave pedal. It sounds like this. I like this one because it tracks really, really well, even down on the lower string. many other uh, uh, octave pedals will do that that well. I used to have a setup where I had a, a compressor in front of the octave pedal I used to use to try and make it track more better and this one doesn't even need it. So that one stayed, the other one is bye bye. Uh, coming out of that pedal through the red cable we hit the VT bass. This is my absolute favorite pedal I own on this board. Uh, it simulates like a like a tube amp, like a, an Ampeg tube amp, at a fraction of the cost. So clean tone. It responds really, really nicely to the way I play, and it sounds awesome no matter what I put it through. I, I played it through lots and lots of amps, and it always just sounds like that. And it makes me really, really happy because I love that grindy, gnarly sound of, of a tube amp being driven. Um, coming out of that one, we hit the bass Big Muff Pie by Electro Harmonics. Um, this is just like my over-the-top fuzz sort of sound. I also, uh, of note, I always leave it on the dry setting so that it keeps my, my regular bass uh, signal in there. Because a lot of time with fuzzes, you'll kick the fuzz on, and if you're listening to it by yourself, it sounds good, but when you play with the band, you just sort of disappear because the, the frequencies that hold the bass down in there are gone. So I mix the two signals. So. Versus, oh, say, we'll just leave it on the normal setting. fundamental mix back in there and it just sounds way 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 better with a band setting uh, going on um, coming out of the pie we're going into the way huge swollen pickle I haven't figured this pedal out yet it confuses the crap out of me it's got five knobs on the front of it and two inside and the names of them don't really make any sense to me and so I've spent hours twiddling knobs trying to get it to do what I want and it just kind of doesn't but it just intrigues me enough that I keep it around it's kind of that big almost square wave fuzz really synth sounding so I don't I don't use it a lot especially in the band I'm in now because it's more you know like folky and punk but back in the day when I had my little like muse phase, you know, that was the pedal you needed because, you know, Chris Walston Home does all that crazy fuzz stuff. Okay, coming out of the pickle, I come into a Korg pitch black tuner at the very end of my chain. Now a lot of people will disagree with me on this, but I think having the tuner at the end of your signal path is way better. Because if you've got noisy pedals like this that'll just hum even when you're not playing, you get this at the end which effectively acts like a mute in addition to your tuner. And the reason why people will disagree with that is because they think it tunes not as accurately and frankly that's just a bunch of BS. Don't. That, it's, it's not true at all. Not at all. So I like the pitch black because the readout is big and bright and easy to read. You compare that to the size of like the, the Boss chromatic tuner that a lot of guys use, which is a good tuner, but I just think it's harder to read. 
when you're standing up far away from it. Um, especially for me, I normally wear glasses, except when I'm playing, because you know I'm thrashing around and all my glasses flying off. So any any help to me in reading stuff far away is good. Um, oh, a couple other little notes about some things. The only thing I don't like about this pedal is that the indicator light, you can see it pretty good here, but if you're ever in less than ideal conditions, it is impossible to see that. On the opposite side of it, the Swollen Pickle LED will blind you if you're looking at it when you turn it on because it's so freaking bright. Uh, kind of hate it. I need to put some tape over it or something because it's ridiculous. I guess that's better than having it not bright enough. Um, so let me just give you some sound samples of me playing around on it for a second because that's probably why you clicked on this video in the first place. Also, one quick thing I wanted to mention was before I had constructed a pedal board, I had this old briefcase sitting around, which was perfect because the pedals are just, it's just deep enough to fit all my pedals in here. This is a dryer sheet because it smells like smoke from my bar band days. It doesn't work. But anyway, I had this old briefcase and then I cut this piece of plywood. It was just sitting in the dumpster I found it one day, and we just cut it to size, spray painted it black, and slapped a couple of pieces of Velcro on it, and that was that. So simple there. So that's my pedal board, more or less. I hope you found that interesting slash informative. If you have any questions on stuff, leave me a comment, because I'll answer those, usually, you know, most of the time. <laughs> anyway. Uh, subscribe for more stuff and we'll see you later.